Hello, thank you for joining me on day one of my series of vlogging all about connection. Now, when I wrote this title, I'm definitely going to talk about the chaos that happens when you have young children at home and how you can make um, room and space for connection, but it could just as well have referred to me today with the chaos. So it's school holidays, so to find a quiet, um, place to vlog uh, where I'm not totally in the dark involves extracting my teenagers from one of the rooms in our house. So you can imagine how well that goes down. And I was off shopping to buy light for the, for the vlogging and wanted to exchange something I already had that wasn't serving a suitable purpose. And of course, when I got to the shops, there was, um, something missing from the contents so I couldn't do my exchange so no matter what stage of life you're at there's always a degree of chaos but those days um, when you have young children when you can't manage to go to the toilet without leaving the door open when they're not sleeping and you find yourself just you know sleepwalking through the day managing as well as you possibly can you know, they're real chaos days. And if you're in that situation, you're like, my life is so busy, my life is so full. Please don't give me something else to do because I can't do it. Uh, there's just no room in my life. You may be feeling lonely. You may be feeling isolated. You may be craving the real connection. But, you know, where do you find the time? So the good news is that I'm Kim Dunn, I'm a psychologist, and you know my mission is to go out there and help people connect, but in a way that passes the mum test. And the mum test means it has to be doable, it has to be practical, it just has to be manageable without a huge upheaval in day-to-day -day life. Because if it is, you're not gonna do it. I know, because I've been there, I know how tough it is. So how do you do it? How do you start making a connection in the chaos? So break connection down into three broad categories. So there's a connection with yourself, connection with others, um, perhaps that's family, friends, community, and then there's a connection with the natural world. So today, today we're having a look at how to connect with yourself when everything feels chaotic. Uh, when you were feeling a total disconnect between what a real, you know, good mother should be doing and what's going on for you, because I've been, I've been there. You know, we all have those bad mother of the of the year moments. Um, I probably had a couple last week. So this is what I recommend. This is where we start to bridge that gap within yourself, that disconnect from how you think you should be. And how you think life should be and your kids should be and everything else that's got a should in it how do you move from should to is so the first thing is to take a step back metaphorically and just accept accept what it is it's a little word and it's so powerful you know, acknowledge to yourself okay right now I'm thinking I'm a bad mum. Right now, I'm feeling really isolated. Right now, I'm feeling all alone. Right now, I feel like I could scream and sell my kids at the street corner. Or right now, my life is so busy, I just want some time to go to the toilet in peace. Whatever it is, start with acceptance, acknowledgement. And they're the magic words. Right now, I feel that. Right now, I am thinking that. Right now, I notice that I'm feeling. Right now, I notice I'm thinking. Now, that is a bridge <laughs> to move from a disconnection with self and a not wanting to be and the disappointment and an embarrassment and the shame and all the shoulds that can go with being a busy mother. To move from that to this is what it is. If you do that, that's part of, you're on the journey through acceptance and with that acceptance, acceptance comes a deeper connection to yourself. 
to what's actually going on for you, for who you are right now. Okay, so if this has resonated with you, I'd love you to um, keep joining me on my 90 day vlog journey. I'd love you to share with anyone else you think this might help. Um, and thanks, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think underneath. Give me a comment or a love. And um, together, we can just, we'll take one step at a time towards connection. Okay, bye for now.